All right, good morning, folks. It's Jason with the Primal Outdoors channel, and it is about 6 o'clock in the morning, and it's the last day of the first annual Soft Roading the West Patreon event where I've had a great time not only spending some time with people that I know are my own patrons, but also meeting some new folks as well. But it's also given me a great opportunity to check out these new night vision goggles that I got from Wish Betty. I could use them at night to kind of scan around, see what was going on, and stay discreet and not be flashing people in the eyes with flashlights and things like that. I think a set of night vision goggles can be a handy uh, accessory to a camping setup just so that you have some camp security, be able to, if you hear a noise, something going on outside, you may not want to draw attention to yourself depending on the situation. So you can use a set of night vision goggles, scan the area, and see if there's something that you should or should not be concerned around camp. But anyways, in full disclosure, these were sent to me by an Amazon reseller. These are some Wish Betty uh, night vision goggles. And like I said, uh, I played with them a little bit around my shop. You know, got a chance to just kind of monitor a little uh, neighborhood rabbit that comes by quite often that I feed. But then, like I said, I've been using them here at the Soft Roading in the West Patreon event. All right, first thing before I kind of go through uh, some of the pros and cons on these that I found, uh, we'll just kind of go over some of the features and things that came in the box. So first of all, you do get a nice little uh, manual that does go through everything with the night vision goggles, how to use them, uh, how to change the different modes and all that. And we'll touch on that a little bit as well in this video. But you do get a manual, you get a neck strap, which I haven't taken out yet, uh, but you do get a little neck strap if that, if you like that. You get a little cleaning cloth, which is handy. Uh, any type of camera or uh, binoculars, having a nice little cleaning cloth is always going to be handy. And then you get the USB charging cord, which you can see I already took out of the package and I've been using to charge the unit. And you get a warranty card. One other thing as well that I'd like to mention is you do get a SD card that's already in the unit, so it's not going to be separate in the box. It's already in the unit, so it's nice that you actually that they already provide that, so it's not something that you have to get extra. I actually expected that to be something extra that you'd have to get if you wanted to use them to record, because you are capable of recording 4K video with these and pictures. Now... To go through some of the buttons on the front, uh, you have your on and off button. This turns the unit on and off. You have your mode button. This switches between photo or video. And along your side here, you have an up and down button. And this has several different modes. It actually goes through the different modes of the night vision goggles because there's a mode that if you're in, like, say, a cityscape where you got lots of lighting and things like that that are lighting things they have mode for that but then they also have a mode for twilight like if it's not quite dark yet but your vision is definitely impeded they have a mode there and then they have an ir mode or infrared mode for when it's pure dark and you can't see anything and then there's nine levels that you can go through there to try to get the best view of whatever you're trying to look at and all of that is controlled with these two up and down buttons but also those buttons uh, control your zoom in and out so uh, lots of functionality in the two up and down buttons above the power button you have your record button so if you're in if you're taking the photo mode it will take a photo if you're in the video mode it will start recording above that you have your menu and there are uh, several menu settings that you can go through like you can change the resolution of the video resolution of the pictures that you can set the date and time all of those basic functions language all of that can be set through the menu button and then you have a backlight button here which illuminates your buttons at night i found this super useful to be able to turn this on and see what the buttons are as I was familiarizing myself with using the unit, sometimes I found myself like pressing the wrong button. And when I wasn't sure, I could turn that light on and be able to see what the buttons were so that that way I was actually pressing the correct buttons. And then over on the, the last button here on the side, you have a play button that again lets you kind of go through anything that you've, any pictures that you've taken on the unit or video. You do have some nice grip here on the sides. 
and then you have a big three and a half inch screen that allows you to see whatever you're looking at so you can sit here like this and be able to scan and you got a nice big three and a half inch screen with other information that allows you to you know know what the uh, night vision goggles are doing on the back side you have your lens on one side and then you have your infrared light that comes out the other side i might be pointing out the wrong ones the manual does state in here which one is which so just be aware that one of these is actually the lens and one of these is actually the infrared light on the back side of the unit uh, you have a focus wheel so you can get things uh, in full focus and then you have a little rubber piece that can move aside and this is where you're going to find your uh, TF card, your micro SD card, and the USB for charging uh, charging the unit. There's also another on and off button and I just wanna point out because when you get the unit, it's gonna be off down here. And they say when you're using the unit regularly, you can go ahead and just leave it on, it's not a problem. But if you are gonna store it for a long period, they do suggest that you turn the unit off down here. But for normal, uh, normal use, you can just leave it on and then use your power button here to just turn it on and off. So I'm assuming that's uh, for reasons of just, you know, protecting the battery. If it's if it is stored, it probably removes all power from the battery and, and allows the battery to last much longer. Again, if you're storing it, turn it off. If you're using it pretty regularly, don't bother with it. You do have a quarter 20 port here so that you can uh, hook this to a tripod. I, do fi I did find that really handy. The field of view on this is pretty narrow. It can get a little bit shaky, so being able to put it on a tripod, if you're looking at something and you're really wanting to get more stable, I do like the fact that it does have that. All right, so let's go into my thoughts on these, a little bit of the pros and the cons. Uh, now, I admittedly, I don't have a lot of experience using night vision goggles, so it's a little bit hard for me to be able to compare these to maybe a higher end set that uh, would be much higher quality. These are run about anywhere from eighty to a hundred dollars on Amazon. So again, they're they're not going to be they're not going to compare up to like you know a couple thousand dollar pair of military grade night vision goggles. So you need just kind of weigh what you, what you're getting here but if you're just looking for something that's inexpensive and that does work you know i did use these and you absolutely at night in the dark you can put these up and they will totally illuminate and allow you to you know see things that i absolutely could not see uh, with the naked eye without these goggles so being able to look at something and see it and uh, be able to identify what it was they absolutely will do that like for example I do I played with these at my shop it was pure dark there's a little rabbit that often times comes and visits the shop that I feed and it was pure dark and it was in the corner of the uh, my shop area or the courtyard area and I could not see it with the naked eye but with these goggles in the infrared mode I could not only see it but you'll notice in the uh, video clip that the eyes really do show up well. So it's really easy to see an animal uh, out at a distance because uh, not only can you see the environment, but their eyes really do, I feel like, illuminate really well. So you can very quickly identify that you're, that you're looking at some type of animal. There are nine different levels. Uh, as you kind of flip through the levels, I... I'll, honestly, I, I would I could see some difference as you went through different different uh, modes. Like you can you could see that it illuminated a little bit more and more. But I didn't feel like uh, above like three it, that it got significantly better. Uh, you know, above the the third option. But even at at the third option, I usually could see pretty clearly what I was looking at. Now, when I say see pretty clearly, I wouldn't say it was sharp and really easy for me to you know there's like a little bit of fuzziness uh but i think that's just uh normal it was kind of like for people that use camera if you set your iso like super super high and you start noticing that some of the detail goes away that was what it was like to look through this but i absolutely could still identify what i was looking at I'd say my biggest complaint was when I was uh, out, uh, we had a situation where we did have a dog uh, go missing on the first night, and we all went out and started looking, 
and I did, used the opportunity to you know test these goggles out and see if I could find the dog in the dark because it was pure dark. And when I was scanning around looking for him, I found that the field of view was really narrow. That that part there was probably my biggest complaint. All right, guys. Well, I don't know if you can see me, but we're trying to find a friend of ours dog who has wandered off. Um, my flashlight just died. And I have been trying to use these night vision goggles, which I think would work really well if you um, know where you want to look. But if you're scanning an area, it's a little bit difficult because uh, the field of view is really narrow. So you're not, you're, you're scanning very small points and out here where we're at, it's kind of high desert and uh, very vast. And so you're, you're trying to sweep a lot of area and specifically these, um, I think would really bring out the eyes very well. So I'd like to be able to scan a wider area than what these are showing. Uh, so it makes it really difficult as it is right now. Uh, my flashlight that I've been using is now dead and the only light I have is on this phone and I'm a little ways from camp. So uh, I'm gonna kind of use these to get a bearing where camp is and work my way back. We're, and just for so you know, we did find the dog. Uh, it did spend the night outside. We couldn't find it that night, but we were able to find it the next morning very quickly. So all ended well there. So anyways, again, um, I the price point I think is, is good. Again, for an entry level set, uh, I do think they work well, and you can definitely see what you're wanting to see with them. And uh, like I said, my only real complaint is that they are a narrow field of view. So if this is something that you think that you would be interested in, uh, because they are just, like I said, a fairly inexpensive set of night vision goggles, could be handy to have in your camp, could be even ha handy just to have around the house uh, for your security needs. 80 to 100 bucks um, they do work sufficiently well and if you maybe want to save a few more dollars you can look down in my description and I think they were going to have like a, a little discount code or something they were going to give me so you can look down in my description and see if you know a pair of night vision goggles like this uh, would suit your needs anyways guys I hope you find this very quick and little review helpful and uh, if you did, please do give a like. If you have any comments or questions, you can leave those down below. And we'll catch you guys again outside. So I'll come look through them now. So I've turned them up. So now that IR is all the way up. Oh, yeah. Shit. Those aren't bad. Seems like they're zoomed in pretty good, though. Yeah, that's my biggest complaint is it's really... A, a narrow field of view. Yeah. You really have to be already kind of focused on where you on want to something. Yeah. Right, right. But yeah, like when I, I was looking for Silas, like I had, a, I felt like there was such a narrow field of view. It was really hard to like just scan. Yeah, you think if you pulled back a little bit more instead of just so. I mean, it's still cool. Yeah. But yeah, like you said, they're seventy bucks. Yeah, they're seventy dollars on Amazon right now. <laughs> Cause I looked this morning to see how much they were.